guys whinging? I fed you already. You're so greedy. Eat your hay. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about TK Maxx makeup. So if you guys didn't know, TK Maxx is this huge store in the UK. I think in the US you call it TJ Maxx. I don't really know why it's called different names. So if anyone knows, please tell me because I've been wondering that for like ages. TK Maxx is a store where you can get really expensive high-end stuff like makeup, skincare, shoes, basically anything there is you can get in there but a whole lot cheaper. Sometimes you've got to be quite careful because especially with makeup people like to swatch it and use it which is really, really gross. So yeah, this is what I got. Okay, so the first thing that I got from TK Maxx is this mattifying mask from Lange Paris. Lange? Lange? I have no idea what it says. It's, it's this basically. It's spelled L-A-N-G-E. I don't know. I don't know how you say it. Anyway, this is meant to be £40 and I got it for £12.99. Which for a face mask anyway is pretty cheap. Considering the amount of product you get in it. So this says it's green clay stems from silico aluminium sedimentary rocks. In the Isle of France, Paris. Made of iron, magnesium, calcium... No idea what that means, but it sounds fancy, so I bought it. So, it's meant to absorb excess sebum on the surface of your skin and acts as a sore regulator. Purifies, regenerates, and softens mixed to oily skin and acne-prone skin. So, basically, this is just meant to drag all the crap out your skin and make it look amazing. I hope. Let's hope so. And the next thing I've got is also skincare, which is this Nip and Fab Mixes, which is like a serum you put on your face that is meant to be a revolutionary plumping and volumizing serum for younger looking skin so this is meant to plump the fine lines in your face to kind of smooth out imperfections and blur it and smoothen the look of wrinkles i'm only 21 so i don't really have wrinkles but you know better to be safe than sorry i actually used this this morning and i don't really know if i like the smell of it like when you smell it, it smells like, I don't even know, let me get it out. This is what it looks like, it's like a little cheap thing. It feels like quite cheap, considering it's meant to be like £20. I mean, I only got it for 6 99 so. But yeah, it just smells like, kind of smells like tea tree, but mixed with like, I don't know, weird stuff. Yeah, I don't know if I like this. This smells like really, very like out there. I don't even know what it smells like. It just smells weird. But it feels really smooth. So, I don't know. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Either way, it was $6.99, so I don't really care. And another thing that I got were these eye candy lashes that look like this. They're very like natural looking lashes. They don't really have a specific name for it. It just says volumize for thicker fuller lashes. I don't really know how that's going to volumize because they don't, they look more lengthening than volumizing. Um, it does have lash adhesive included. I did try the lash adhesive and honestly just use your own lash glue. It doesn't work very well. Um, the eyelashes themselves are quite cute though. Like they're really nice for like a natural sort of look. But I would say they look I know they're fake, but like they look kind of fake, which you don't really want. But I mean like for $2.99, it's, it's not a bad thing to get really. So the next two things that I got, I absolutely love so much. I got these last week and I freaked out when I saw them because no one, no one had tested them. Like no one had even swatched them, which is great. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipsticks. So the packaging is really cute. It's like embossed with this gold lettering that says Anastasia Beverly Hills. You have the shade names here. So I've got the shades Kiss and Brandy. Kiss is what I'm actually wearing right now. It's like a really nice nude with like a pink undertone. It kind of reminds me of MAC Velvet Teddy, but like with less of a pink tint to it. Oh, and these lipsticks are so gorgeous. Look at that. It's just so like, it just looks fancy. Like I love packaging. I don't even care if it performs well. Well, I do care. But look, it's just so nice. 
Now you open it up and it looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see very well, but it's just a really nice pinky nude. But yeah, I've been wearing this like for the past week and honestly like I don't even touch velvet teddy anymore. Which is like everybody's favourite and like unsurprisingly because it is gorgeous but like this in the shade kiss is my new go-to and the other one brandy is like kind of like this ready brown color it's quite dark it reminds me more of like a vampy type lipstick if i swatch it i mean the swatch isn't very good but it's like a ready brown brick kind of vampy color which I think is really, really nice, especially like if you go on a night out or like a date night and you just have it with like a smoky eye, I think that would look amazing. Another thing that I got was also from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I love this. I wanted to get my hands on it for ages, but it's just so expensive. Like student budget just doesn't fund me for these kind of luxuries. <laughs> so I got this and it is the blush trio. This is in the shade Pink Passion. So you get a darker shade called, basically, a middle one called Sugar and like a more natural one called Rose. So if you open it up, this has the best packaging I've ever seen. Like, look at that. You just see if you tilt it towards the light, you have all like the logo of the A from her brand on it. It's almost like holographic in that. It's just, it's like the best thing I've ever seen. And you open it up, it's got a little protector here and also one on the screen. You get like a darker colour, which I feel like this would be really nice for like, especially olive and deeper skin tones. This one as well, if you want like a really summery look, it's like a really bright, pink. well it's not too bright, but it's quite like a barbie pink with a bit of shimmer. And this one is more of like a really peachy corally colour, that's the colour that I tend to use a lot. So I just think it's really, really pretty. But yeah, I have been using this for the past two weeks and honestly, it's literally one of the best blushes I've ever used. And I got this for, how much did I get it for? I paid $14.99 for this. So not like just under £15. And I think Anastasia sells this for £30 on her website. So this is definitely a good buy. Okay, so another thing that I got from TK Maxx, I actually got this quite a while ago. Um... It's, it's not great. I got this Bare Minerals foundation set. So you get the original powder foundation. This is in the shade Fairly Light, which is N10. And you also get the Mineral Veil Hydrating Powder as well to set it. And it comes with a concealer in the shade Bisque. The concealer, I actually like, I really like this. Especially like if you're one of those people who don't wear too much makeup and you just have like light foundation and you just want a bit more coverage on like certain areas. What are you doing? <laughs> it's so weird. But yeah, the concealer is really good if like you just want to hide any small imperfections. And they have a little sieve here and you just twist that and it kind of pours out kind of like, I don't know, just any really translucent setting powder like that. Obviously it's not translucent, but that's how it works when you take it out. And you just get like a flat brush. I had a brush that came with it and you just pop it on. And it sets by itself. Because obviously like it's powder so you don't really need to set it. Um, the mineral veil powder that it came with to set stuff. That is, this is probably the worst powder I have ever used in my life. It's just, it's awful. I don't even like, why did they make this? Like who can actually use this on their skin? Because when you set it, I don't know what it does. But like I'll have my foundation on, even the matching foundation with this, like this is meant to go together. And the foundation matches me, so I don't even know why they've put in this. But anyway, like I'll put on this foundation and then I'll use this powder to kind of set it or just blur out my pores or something with it. And it turns the whole foundation orange. Like, what? Why, why would you want an orange face? Like I don't... I don't get it. So, and it's also really sparkly. Like, I know a lot of people have like really fine bits of glitter in their products just because it like helps with the blending and all sorts, especially in eyeshadows. But this is like, it's so sparkly when you put it on. Like, you literally just look like you've dipped your face in gold glitter. Like, it's, it's not cute. No one wants that. 
well I don't want it you might want it but I don't so that's that was kind of a waste of money apart from like the concealer really the foundation it was okay but like it, it made my pores stand out it didn't last on my skin I have very very oily skin which is surprising that a powder didn't work on it but yeah I think this set cost me 25 pounds altogether I don't know how much it was originally but it was just it was underwhelming another thing that I did get was from Too Faced um, I know TK Maxx has quite a lot of their makeup, especially like their liquid latex lipsticks. I think they usually sell them for like five pounds in there instead of 17, which is crazy. But um, I got the Too Faced Catch Eyes palette, which looks like this. So when you open it up, it's a really cute packaging. It's like leopard print and you know, look at that. It's adorable and it's so compact. So like, you can take this anywhere. So like I got this, I think it was $12.99. I think this palette is like almost 30. And you have like a, a little thing here, which like if you open it up, it will tell you like different looks that you can do with the palette. It has a little mirror here, which is really nice for on the go. You have like a champagne sort of color, a matte white color, um, a matte pink, you've got a silver pink and bronze shimmer and then you've got these three colors which i think were really interesting so you have this one and those two and these are like a wet to dry formula one so you can actually get like an eyeliner brush wet it put it in this and you can use it as eyeliner like you can use your eyeshadow as eyeliner which is really good if you're traveling so you don't have to like carry different products with you which is really cool i think the black one actually makes quite a decent eyeliner to be honest but like all in all this palette is really cute I love the packaging but I just don't think the eyeshadows are up to par like Too Faced has definitely got some better palettes which have so much more pigment like is nice but like I'm really rubbing into this and there's just like there's nothing you know it's just so so sheer and especially on me like I have really fair skin you'd think it would show up but like it just, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's, it's really disappointing. I mean, it's cute, but like, I'm never gonna use it. This other thing that I got from TK Maxx is amazing. I think this is probably like my favorite thing in the whole world right now. And it's the, it's my Ray Ray palette from BH Cosmetics. And it comes in this really nice like sort of rose gold packaging and then you take it out and this is where you're gonna freak out. So this is an eyeshadow palette, bronzer palette, and highlighter palette in one. And it's this small. That's crazy. So it has 21 eyeshadows in it. So you open it up. And then here it has like a little sheet protecting it. You open it up here as well. And it looks like this. So both sections with the eyeshadow, the bronzers, and the highlighters all have their own little um plastic covering which is really good because obviously when you fold it up it would just get everywhere it has a really decent sized mirror um this mirror is actually really good quality like it's so clear and i just think these these eyeshadows are amazing like i use them this morning to help create this eye look i don't know if you guys can see it. it's like i use quite a lot of the purple and this color so the these three mainly are used and it's just, it's really good quality. Like the mattes blend amazingly. Um, the shimmer colors are just insane. It doesn't even matter what, like what brushes you use. Oh, yeah, it's, it was definitely worth it. I know that much. Especially considering like you can do like a range of different eye looks with this. You've got like some pinks and purples. You've got neutrals, dark colors. Um, you've got a black in there, which is really good if like you want to smoke out your eyes. You've got a really nice champagne color, bronze pink even like a glittery purple and they just blend so well like so this palette cost me 9.99 that's insane i think on beauty bay this is like 23 pounds but even then like that's still cheap the amount of product that you're getting and if we go over to this side you can see the contour colors that you get so you get like a really deep kind of mocha color which would be great for like deeper skin tones um, that's called Brownie Bite. You've got a shade called Mocha, which is like, this is the one that I use. It's probably a little bit too like dark for me, but I, if I'm contouring, I like it to be like, you know, I like, I like to, it to be there. It's nice. But this will also be really good for like medium skin colors, 
and sort of like olive tone skin and if you're really really like fair like I am this is probably the best shade to use which is called Chai 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 how do you say that I don't know but it's like a really really nice color it's almost got like a kind of yellowy tint to it but I feel like this will work really well and of course last but not least we have the highlighting shades so this is really nice you get a shade called french toast which is like this really deep kind of bronzy gold color which is just so pretty like look at that it's just so see how reflective it is i just i love it and then you always get the shade called radiant it's kind of like just a neutral sort of gold color which again is really really pretty it's just so i feel like this might be a bit too dark for my skin tone but i feel like it could work you know if you're like really light-handed and then the one that's kind of like more suitable for me is a shade called moonlight here which looks like this again like it's just so reflective and the pigment like I don't understand how someone could have this much pigment be in a palette with like three different things in there and be £10. Like, that's just insane to me. So yeah, the It's My Ray Ray palette by BH Cosmetics. I highly recommend. Like, if you can't find it in like the TK Maxx near you, I would seriously recommend going on Beauty Bay and buying it. Again, like I think it's £23, but for it to be that cheap and have that much pigment and be able to blend so well, like this is honestly better than some palettes. Like I'm not gonna say which ones, but like they blend better than some of like the £50 palettes that I have. And I think that's insane. Like you would definitely get in a lot for your money. Now this last one isn't makeup related, but I just had to share it because it's so, so cute. So when I went to the counter and tea, I think I just smudged that highlighter on my face. Cute. <laughs> but yeah, when I was on my way to the counter in TK Maxx to like pay for all my stuff that I got, I saw on the side like some electronic stuff and some phone cases. And like recently, I have been so obsessed with trainers from Guess. I just like, they're the comfiest things that I've ever worn. Like I've got a rose gold pair. I've got a white pair. I just bought like a really sparkly white pair of trainers from there. And it's just like, oh, they're the most comfy things you can have on your feet. I, like, I don't even care. Like, are they even in fashion anymore? I don't know. But I love them. Like, I'm so obsessed. And I found this phone case for my um, iPhone XS. And it's like this. It's quite chunky, but it's really pretty. And like, if you shake it, all the glitter kind of goes around and then you have like the guest logo in there with the letters. I just think it looks insane. Like it's so pretty. It's just cute. Oh, and there's my guinea pig on the front who keeps staring at me weirdly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think this was like $7.99 and it was originally like £27. So that's that's pretty good for a phone case. And I feel like if I drop this, like, it's not going to break. It feels like very, very good quality plastic. Like, a really hard, like, solid plastic. So, there, there you have it, guys. Um, That was my kind of, like, mini haul for TK Maxx makeup. Again, like I said, TK Maxx is an insane shop for finding stuff. Like, so much cheaper. Like, you get brands like Too Faced, Anastasia Beverly Hills, BH Cosmetics, um, Nip and Fab. Like, a bunch of stuff in there. So if you have one near you, I would highly recommend going there. They usually like put new stock in on Mondays, I think. Um, but yeah, it's just really amazing. The only thing I would suggest is that if you're going there for makeup, open the packaging, especially if it's lipstick. Like obviously be careful with it, but like you want to check that no one's swatched it because a lot of people like to test things on their hands or like I've seen people put on the lips and get told off by staff and obviously they still sell it. So it's not the most hygienic thing. But yeah, like, if you open it and no one's touched it, then, like, you're getting such a good deal. So, yeah, that's it. Um, Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it. I will definitely have a lot more videos coming up in the near future. Um, I'm going to be doing a full test demonstration tutorial on this Ray Ray palette because I just think it's amazing. I don't know why my lighting keeps going funny like that. It's really strange. 
And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!